You know, for some individuals, some small businesses or organizations, to start a YouTube channel can really be so very scary. But you know what, believe me when I tell you that the advantages of starting a YouTube channel today far much outweighs the disadvantages. And in today's video, I'll be elaborating on seven major points that you need to put into consideration if you finally have made up your mind to start up a YouTube channel. So if you are new to this channel, hey, you're very much welcome. I'm your host, Abam Frank, aka Mr. Positive. Um, you might want to consider clicking on that subscribe button right down below Below and turning on the notification bell in order to get notified every time I come up with a new video but then if you are a returning subscriber then I thank you so very much for coming back you know as always you are a champion and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up right now in order to trigger the algorithm hey um, welcome back guys all right um, before you even start on YouTube there are a couple of questions that you need to ask yourself and find answers to them firstly you need to pick out a niche what is a niche? A niche is like the topic you are going to be talking about in your videos. And you need to make sure that your niche is not all that way broad. Like, let's take for example, you can't be talking about tech and at the same time you are talking about beauty and makeup or you are vlogging and stuff like that. You need to maybe focus on tech if you are passionate about that or maybe beauty and makeup if you are passionate about that or if you are passionate about doing vlogs that is showing places and stuff like that then you need to just focus on that you need to think take out some time do some research and think this out figure out figure out what niche is suitable for you and when once you are picking a niche you need to ask yourself two questions like are you passionate about this niche is it like something that you can always talk about without getting tired secondly is the niche profitable what do I mean by this? So after doing YouTube for some time now, I have been able to understand that there are some niches that are profitable than others. A profitable, let's take for example that you are doing educational videos, videos that you are teaching people how to do things. Let's say for example, you might be doing um, software tutorials or you might be doing tech kind of videos like that those are profitable niches it means that the amount the kind of ads that are going to run on those videos will fetch you more money as compared to a niche like uh, you are somebody who is doing pranks such a niche will not actually earn so much money from ad revenue let's take for example somebody who is doing educational videos might make um five to seven dollars from one thousand views and somebody who is doing um prank videos might make maybe just one or two dollars from 1000 views and it as well depends on where you are based so if you have been able to figure out what your niche is and you have settled down with that you now need to ask yourself like who are those that are even going to be watching my videos that's your target audience when once you've been able to figure that out then everything you do like maybe advertising that you are already creating content on YouTube you might enter forums or Facebook groups in relation to what your audience is let's take for example that you want to be doing videos on how to grow and make money on YouTube just like what I'm doing right now then you need to go maybe onto forums or Facebook pages that are talking on how people can grow on YouTube as well you need to advertise your work on such pages so much so that people there will be interested in what you are doing so now the other point is going to be like of what importance will the videos you will be uploading be to whosoever will be watching ask yourself like after somebody watches your video is the person going to benefit some knowledge is the person going to get entertained is the person going to feel motivated from what you have done or what you are saying and stuff like that so you need to answer these questions and by so doing you are already solving a great problem by knowing what kind of videos you will be doing so when once that is done we just need to dive into the second point which is you need to create your youtube channel you know creating a youtube channel is absolutely free you don't need to pay any money to be able to create a youtube channel you just need to have a google accounts and that's it you know I actually did a video on how you could create a YouTube channel even with just your phone you can check that out in the card above or I'm going to as well link it down in the description below when once you create your YouTube channel you need to now brand the YouTube channel by you know putting up a channel icon a channel art and writing out an about page 
your channel icon now is like what people are going to see it might be your logo or an image that really illustrates what your channel is all about then your channel art is like the landing or welcome page that each and everybody that just happens to enter your channel for the very first time or welcome your channel for the very first time they are going to see what your channel is all about you just need to like outline some points like if you check out my channel art or you just bump into my channel for the very first time at least you are going to see my channel title there you are going to see my slogan adding more value to as many lives as possible through information and education and then you are going to see that i do photoshop tutorials i do youtube influencing and i as well bring up informative and educational videos so when once you do this it's going to give an incoming person a brief idea of what your channel is all about and then now i'm um, diving into the third point you need to ask yourself like how consistent are you going to be are you going to be uploading depending on what you are doing right now if you are free if you are doing nothing and you just want to start youtube and take it full time though i would never advise somebody to do that you can decide to be like uploading videos every time a week but if you are doing youtube as a part time though maybe within the course of time you might actually take it full time then you might decide like you will be uploading videos once or twice a week you just need to set this out and be extremely consistent you don't need to like okay upload one video today maybe after one or two weeks you upload another one no when once you are starting out remember nobody knows you you really need to work in order to get noticed on the platform so you need to set out a schedule and be consistent with that schedule then um, to elaborate on this you need to be realistic and think long term what do i mean by this you know there are some people that when once they start they are extremely excited because of the fact that they are uploading videos and getting a couple of views and then they just feel like maybe i should be uploading videos twice a day or something of that nature no you shouldn't do that even if the video ideas are pumping into your head like crazy you just need to break them down and keep a consistent rate that you can follow for at least the very first six months or 12 months because if you continue at that rate of maybe uploading maybe two or three times a day you might actually burn out you might run out of ideas when you are still premature and that is not good for your channel before you before you even dive before you even dive into your very first video you need to actually set out some goals for yourself i think i'm going to read this out so that um you can understand what i'm talking about the quickest the quickest way to get discouraged as a youtube creator is to compare yourself to others you should never do that just know your story can never be the same as another person's story your growth rates can never be the same as another person's growth rate put that into your mind an effective goal has three core elements. The goals have to be measurable, the goals have to be timed, and the goals have to be controllable. Talking about measurable goals, the goal should have a qualified component that lets you know at any given moment in time whether you've reached it or not. Talking about timed goals, the goal should have a realistic deadline, not so far out so that you will still feel pressure and not so close that it's overwhelming. The goal should be controllable. The goal should be an action you can perform rather than an action that you hope will come as a result of an action. You know, um, all these things actually make sense. Let me quote an example. Let's take for example that you set a goal that um, every month you will be having 500 subscribers as you are starting out that is a goal that is not controllable in the sense that you are not the one subscribing to your channel it's not like you are going to create 500 different accounts that you will be pressing that subscribe button on each and every one of them to subscribe to your channel you are not in control of that it's not controllable so in setting goals you need to set your goals in such a way that they are realistic let me actually quote another example with what happened to me i started my youtube channel in may and i told myself that okay as i'm starting this may i will do everything possible to get monetized before december i gave myself some time 
and I really worked towards that. That pushed me, that gave me the motivation not to relax, but to work hard. There, there used to be moments that I would feel like, okay, maybe I should be just browsing or doing something else online. But then when once that strikes me, I will be like, okay, I need to research and come up with a video. And doing that consistently, I was able to achieve that goal even before December. Now we are in November and I'm already monetized. So you need to as well figure out timed goals, measurable goals and controllable goals. Okay, um, these other points now ought to have come a little bit earlier, but then um, I didn't do this in any particular order. You need to ask yourself like, what kind of equipment you will be needing. You need to have at least a camera, a tripod, a microphone, maybe some light and a screen capturing app. These are actually equipment that you can have if you have the money. But then if you don't have the money and you have just a smartphone or an iPhone, then you are good to go. You can use that to record your videos. Make sure that you record your videos in, in broad daylight just like I'm doing right here. Make sure that you get a mobile editing app just like KindMaster and you are good to go. You necessarily do not need to have all the fancy equipment to start. But put this into your mind. When once you start, you don't need to stop there. You don't need to continue uploading content from just your phone you need to start working on saving up money to buy other equipment just like a camera a tripod you know some lights and stuff like that in order to upgrade your content quality because we all know that YouTube is about quality the kind of content that was always being uploaded onto the platform let's say five ten years ago is not still the same kind of content quality that is being uploaded today so you need to do your best to see that you upgrade your content quality within the course of time this one now is a very important point guys i make good use of that when once you start uploading content onto the platform there are moments that you upload a video people like the video people drop comments into the video try your best to respond to those comments it's very important the people will feel like okay they are in a community if they ask you a question do your best to answer that question if they want directions give them directions at times you can actually grab comments even from your comment section and make videos about those questions that people are asking just interact with your community make use as well of social media if you are on Facebook advertise your content on Facebook and interact with people there do same with other social media platforms like you know Twitter Instagram LinkedIn and all those other social media platforms you just need to build your audience and interact with them engage your audience I mean this is your community you need to take control you need to make each and every member feel like they belong especially when you are starting it might actually get overwhelming when once you have grown up to a particular level but then when once you are starting do your best to always engage and interact with your audience um, finally, there is this funny one, when once you start putting up content, you shouldn't get offended or uh, you shouldn't get discouraged because people are disliking the content or people are dropping you hate comments. You just need to really develop a thick skin, guys, because no matter how perfect, how educative, how entertaining, how motivational your videos or your video might be, they are still those people or that person that will still not like that. Everybody must never like you. It's normal. It's just natural. There's never a video that I have seen that has like, let's say, thousands or tens of thousands of views that has just likes without any dislike. People always dislike what you are doing, no matter whatever you are doing. Even Jesus Christ, if Jesus Christ happens to like start creating content today, there will still be people that will dislike that content. So don't stress yourself about that. There will still be people that will be come up and insult you in, a, in your comment section. Don't stress about that. Instead, gather energy, gather positive energy from those that are encouraging you and move ahead. So um, these are the points that I did table down for you that is struggling with growth on YouTube or you that are thinking of starting a YouTube channel. You know, thank you so very much for watching. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. But then if you didn't enjoy it, then I promise to bring you something that you enjoy in the very next video. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, if you haven't subscribed already. Don't as well forget to click on that share button. Thank you so very much, guys. Um, God bless you. Remain positive and see you in the next video.